Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. A treat especial. We got the old Duclaw here. He's back in town. Say hello, Duclaw. Hi, everybody. <laughs> You're supposed to say hello, Duclaw. That's the bit. We heard about these DeWilt compressors, what you put a battery in and they chooch uh, without any wires, kind of automatically. I thought, fuck that noise. I got a random seven horsepower VFD and, and this thing, just strap that to your back. A whole couple few boxes right full of these 12 volt backup batteries. We got them seriesed up, or rather the Dew Claws got them seriesed up. Okay. <clears throat> should we do a voltage test? We should. But we're not going to. No. Yeah, we should. <laughs> what, you want to live forever? Uh, allow me to engage my safety. We might need uh, additional safety measures. <laughs> this ought to do her. Oh, yeah. I'm sure those are approved by a McDonald's Safety Commission. Oh, Jesus. You got to warn me before you do that shit. <laughs> I'm about to put the last connection in. Hold on. If I survive. Allow, allow me to prep my pucker. And uh, not to worry, if you don't survive, I'll clear your browser history. This is very important. This is like rule number one. Only ever connect something if you have what we're about to see here. Zero volts? Zero volts. The zero volts that means that no current's going to flow, so right. I think we're going to be okay. Now we're ready. Say when. Can I get a contact? Oop. Ooh. Nothing. Ooh. Ooh. Turn it off. Yeah. Should I turn it on? Power on? Okay, try. Ooh. Ooh. No, nothing. Nothing. Signs of life. How are we? That LED, the relay, the safety relay, has done its job and it's fused. <laughs> so we have constant power going to this thing and. To add insult to injury, the no, thing notching. notching, no signs of life other than this lonesome little red LED. Yeah, so we cheated and we pulled out the manual. <laughs> does, that, does that remind you of your high school days? If we want 400, or say it's a class 200 here, we actually need instead of just regular DC voltage at 200 volts, we need twice that, of course. There's a reason. Uh, which will go unexplained but according to black and white we need not just this many batteries but twice the amount of batteries what level of sketchiness do we require well on a scale of one to five this is probably a you know between two and three but we're going to step it up a couple notches as we say in the battery business so we figured out in order to get the 380 volts dc to the bus we're going to need 10 more but that he is of course it being Per near Christmas, it's uh, proof positive that uh, that the rapture is upon us. Zombies fucking coming out of the grave everywhere. Everybody got their hackles up. Who's gonna go get the batteries? Rochambeau, you for it? Huh? 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 Fuck! <laughs> Back to schmegma laden fog of war. We've learned thus far, boldly into the unknown, that these Chinesium 12 volt DC relays will not chooch at. 200 and some odd volts DC. So, we're, uh, we're looking at a motor contactor. We're going through the boneyard here. This is why you keep, you can never throw anything away, ever. We have a motor contactor. That's our safety. The ever intrepid Dewclaw, the smart aleck chicken that he is, figured we could convert this to digital. Show sure. the kind folks. Show the kind folks the digital option. Yeah, we, we don't need 24 volts AC. I got 24 volts AC right here. <laughs> What's crack a lack in my gate, swarthy skinned fellow? <clears throat> Not to worry, I'll get this. Meanwhile, the prodigal son goes out whoring and gambling and returns a hero. Why is that? It's a rhetorical question. Because God hates a coward. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, partner, I barely came out of there alive. You want to see the wickedness and rottenness and humankind? You yeah. go ahead and morph uh, That girl almost swallowed you whole there, right? <laughs> we get it, Duclaw. You vape. Uh, the, the contactor, is it normally closed or normally open? Well, just because you're never sure until you're sure, yeah, I made sure to check. And uh, it's normally open. So I plug this in. We can do the test again, but I'm pretty sure from here to here. Let me tell you, folks, this here. guy, this guy, 
It's worth every penny I'm not paying them. Okay, worst case scenario. Practice, okay. What are these, oh look at these. For, <laughs> for grabbing dirty bits in nasty doing spots. doing a lot of things that you probably should never do. Story of Duke Law's life. <laughs> Sometimes though, you gotta face death once in a while. Ready, boom, Betty? Ready, boom, Betty. Key, or intact. Uh, distinctly anticlimactic. Let's have a look at the drive. What the fuck, over? You ever been in a Turkish prison? Oh, the fucking guy wasn't pressing it all the way. Oh, why is he put that here? Press that too. No fucking way. Oh shit. As Duclaw said, nothing can handle the awesome power of direct current. The contacts welded in. Did you ever get that feeling at the core of your being? That creeping angst? <laughs> that ever questioning? Why are we here? What are we doing? In keeping with the theme, everything's a smoke machine. If you use it wrong enough, we uh, haven't really discovered what the problemo is, but we're gonna give her a second go here. He, he. Contact. A nice loud ka chunk ka chunk on that one. Normally, I think it powers up on its own. Doesn't like that. We must have the connections wrong. According to the manual, it's no problemo to run this off DC, just inject it into the first side of the rectifying bridge. However, no one has ever seemed to have done that. So, uh, we got to searching on the internet with the old gargler routine, uh, jazz heads. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna haul out this jumper between the positive and the negative. And we're going to put in an inductor in betwixt the two, just for current limiting. And, um, yeah. I can't explain it because I don't know. I guess that's the price of failure, you start to doubt yourself. Uh, well, false bravado has got me through worse than this. The question here is... I don't recall. <laughs> you start off reasonably sketchy and you continue to get sketchier and sketchier until it works. And then you dial back the sketchiness. But until then, all bets are off. It's the same thing, you know. You, you, you torque it up, torque it up till you hear the crack and then back a quarter turn, leave it for the next guy. The story thus far, our intrepid Alec Chicken and his long-suffering biographer have seriesed up these lead-acid batteries. Plenty of chooch in that shot. How many volts? 300 and some odd. 330 volts DC. Ooh. An ever-increasing sense of doom. <laughs> and we've got, in series, a choke, which is uh, on the primary side of a current transformer, that's our choke. But we calculated it should only need but three amps to run this compressor. Uh, what we're worried about is the inrush current to this guy. And we think we have the terminals proper now. We were using the wrong manual. Look at the <laughs> fucking capacitor, so oh god. <laughs> okay, so you got your repairs in order, right? <laughs> Did you see that fucking thing move? Heard something. 42 amps inrush. Oh no. Oh, we didn't have it on the hold. Shit. Okay, so this is amazing. You scared me with that. No, no, the current fucking going through the oh, wires the moved. Attracted. Yes, moved the wires. The wires jumped. Okay, how much voltage we got on the DC bus here? Let's see. 236. I'm up to jack you off pretty good. Oh, ain't nothing like an electrician's good clean hand job. <laughs> you have never been finished until you've been. I sort of noticed one thing sticking out at me is this guy right here. This looks suspiciously like 24 volts input. Like a switch mode power supply that like needs in here, yeah. AC to power it. So to power all the uh, 24 volt electronics up here, uh -huh. it's pre 600 volt uh -huh. bus. Uh -huh. Commensurate with our experience trying to let the smoke out of this thing, we've reversed the polarity on the input side. There's nothing we won't do to fuck shit up. For frogs, snacks, 
fucking nothing. Don't know fucking Why the fuck isn't this firing? You know what we got to do now is we got to run it off single phase and see if it's fucking if, if cooked, we, if, if we, we cooked it. it. Really though, you know, for what this thing costs, it really should fail in a catastrophic mode rather than, you know, just kind of whimper and just, die. Just beat her off. Yeah. Just like die of old age on the couch somewhere. I take that back. I don't want old people to die on any couches. <laughs> All right, give it a wiggle. Yeah, yeah, it's flashing up. Okay. Well, we didn't. <laughs> Slight curve to the a little more to the left. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we didn't fuck the drive up at least, but the documentation is lacking. If at first you don't succeed, keep sucking until you do succeed. We got the sucking part down. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, chances are you can't see that. Focus, you fuck. There we go. Itty bitty titty P plus P neg. 24 volts into the control board. We're going to power that off the Rigol, the Frygol. You can see zero kills to her name. We're going to change that here today. Okay, here's red hot ionized copper in your eye. <laughs> Orange act. Oh, oh. Signs of life. Fucking A. Fucking A. It, uh. Power. Power. Too bad the application notes didn't tell us, uh, it needed an external power supply here. And now we're gonna see if she'll run. No, doesn't like that. For some reason, we need to reset the parameters or something. For you young gamers out there, this is a good time to just kind of slowly back away and leave it to the professionals. Parsing the internet for information about the things, what should remain undone. One mind is not an internet make. Is it got the faults cleared? No nerdly fault on there. I don't know what that. What was that nerdly fault? This means you basically it's not going to work for you. No what you do. Oh okay. No. <laughs> All right. There's various reasons for it. So you think this is going to go now? No, well, I don't know. I think this was. Uh, this is worth a try. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> it fucking works! Now, both you and me weren't privy to what the Dewclaw did, but to suffice it to say, there was some electric and magic. This didn't work on the 20 or the 24 volt DC feed because we had a nerdly fault. Never heard of it before, never heard of it again, no idea. What he's doing is feeding 220 volts in here. So these things are not rated for automotive application I don't what was the deal with the uh, with down here well normally there's a jumper between PD and P and as far as I can tell the PD side is just the rectifier side and the P side actually feeds into the capacitors and stuff like that so I figured to pop the jumper out I actually just feed the <laughs> so I think they, they assume that you're smart enough to know that Positive, positive, and negative is negative. Aha! Uh -huh. That take, was the problem. They take it, yeah, they assume a lot. 300 volts, 320 volts going across here, DC. And uh, the thing just lit up and... Sounds... Seemed pretty happy there when we turned it on. Sounds chewy. So now, so now that we've disconnected it and the voltage has dropped here, we've got, we've got that... The nerdy... Oh, uh, you got the nerdly fault. The nerdy oh, nerdy. okay. The nerdy business is bad. So... In order to do this proper, we need a 240 volt inverter. The proof of concept final solution is, oh fuck. This guy, it's like square dancing with a fucking monkey. Has anyone ever told you I you're really the, you're the, you per fucking told me the fucking glaucoma medication? Has anyone ever told you that you're the perfect straight man? They're fucking liars. When I toss the ball your way, okay. you toss it back to me. Okay. So what that means is the proof of concept, final solution, which is an overt Nazi joke, and you say, I did not see that coming. <laughs> and then I say, and frankly, I am not impressed, and so forth. The ball, you toss the ball, you, you know, you, you know. He's too used to fucking 
tossing the ball by himself. Yeah, with the thing and the Mind thing. And <laughs> <laughs> with the fucking glaucoma medication, this guy. We're gonna pressurize it with this little dude out here running off AC, no, running off batteries into a variable frequency drive, three phase. What the fuck reason for? Because we can, one, and two, if you're off the grid and you wanna run a three phase motor, huh, huh, huh? Duke Law programmed her for 90 hertz so good, so she ought to chooch quite a bit faster. Corn tap? Shutter roll sink. This is going to come in handy. This is a proof of concept in a future video. Uh, this was just our test load. We're going to do a proper load. So thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice. It's had a hard life. Just got life a little where... angle to the dangle. It's fine. Oh, oh it's for no, that way. It's for checking current. They go over my... around corners. Look how close I can get. <laughs> mm, I mean, that's like that's a that's a fun. It's not a fault. There. It's a feature. <laughs>